Yes, it works on your MacBook Pro mid-2012. Although the recommendations were up to 8GB I read some other reviews here in Amazon recommending 16GB and decided to give it a try. I am so happy I did it. I am very satisfied with the purchase. Very easy to install and great 4 times upgrade. From 4GB to 16GB. Also I changed the HD to SSD. Bought it through Amazon too. HTTPS colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash crucial dash mx300 dash internal dash solid dash state slash dp slash b01 ix due slash ref equals sr underscore one underscore one question mark sequels pc ampersand i equals at f8 ampersand kid equals one four eight seven five six two eight nine zero ampersand s requals one one and keywords equals crucial plus mx 300 plus one tb plus sata plus 2.5 plus inch plus internal plus solid plus state plus drive plus plus ct 1050 mx 300 ssd one more than happy with my new machine performance I strongly recommend it. The RAM was easy to install and it works perfectly in my late 2012 Mac Mini. The computer came with 4GB of RAM and had become sluggish when there were several programs and browser windows open. A memory monitoring app helped some, but it had to optimize the memory frequently, so there were still bothersome delays and hiccups. The computer runs smoothly now but uses 8 to 10GB of RAM routinely. So I definitely recommend upgrading to 16GB instead of 8GB to extend the useful life for a few years. This is the second time that I have upgraded a Mac with RAM from Crucial. It is made by Micron Technology, the same company that made the original RAM. It is easy to verify compatibility on their website. The sticks were safely packaged in a plastic clamshell that opens easily. Exceeds expectations for my MBP 15 inches early 2011 model. Running OS X Yosemite 10.10 and it recognizes the full 1600 MHz. I didn't think it would, but it did. Computer performs much better with multitasking apps. Don't believe the official Apple specs or the naysayers who tell you that your early 2011 MacBook Pro can't handle 16GB of memory, or that it can't handle 1600MHz memory. This memory has been installed in my system for weeks now and is working perfectly.